Soon to get homer is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters. If you go to crossbreedholsters.com, use the promotional code SOTG. When you do that, you're going to save some money. You're going to be a happy camper. All right, so I figured you guys were getting a little bit tired of bear attacks and buffalo attacks, uh, bison attacks. So, hippo attacks. Yeah, and hippo attacks. Um, so we decided to go over to the uh, the south, go to the south, the east coast, and we've got a story out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Whew. Uh, Jared's going to go ahead and get into it, but this is from WQI one two three four five six on your side w m f w m b f news nbc on your side local and all that good stuff it says coroner's office 75 year old man killed in alligator attack in myrtle beach area june 27th 2022 just happened the hori county coroner's office has identified the man who was killed in an alligator attack in the Myrtle Beach area. Deputy coroner Michelle McSpadden said 75 year old Michael Michael Burstein from the Myrtle Birch Jeez, I cannot Myrtle talk. Birch Myrtle Beach Myrtle area. Beach. I'm gonna take a sip from the Myrtle Beach area drowned during the attack. Horry County Fire and Rescue responded to a water rescue call on Friday in the area of Excalibur Court in the Myrtle Beach Golf and Yacht Club. Mm. When crews arrived on the scene, they determined that an alligator had taken hold of Burstein and retreated into a nearby retention pond. Multiple witnesses told responding crews that they saw the victim standing at the water's edge of the community pond when the alligator lunged from the water and attacked. He was dragging Burstein under Man, sucks well yeah all right you do you remember jared the you probably don't because you were pretty young you're you did you remember ever seeing the alligators like moving no all right when we we lived uh when jared was young we lived in florida lived i in, saw the the little one that was on that dude's fishing hook in mississippi oh that, that yeah cut free but no the alligators are well they're they're monsters they're dinosaurs and they're nothing but muscle and we we when you were a little kid we took a uh there's a place called Mayaka State Park yeah and you can take a boat ride out onto the big lake and you can see all the alligators and stuff and uh generally in the daytime they're nocturnal predators so in the daytime they just kind of float around like logs they don't do a whole lot of activity in the daytime that's the general consensus uh we were watching one and I was looking at it and I saw something in the water moved by its tail it could have been a turtle or whatever and this thing came up out of the water you could see the white of its belly and it did a complete 180 and whammo nailed wow. whatever was in the water and it was that quick i mean it was it's it's amazing they can if, if they're facing away from you they can flip over in the water at least they can flip over 180 in about one second wow that's fast yeah, uh, they're well. They're all muscle, and they're the, an apex predator. I don't think there's anything. I I don't think other than man that there are any natural predators for alligators. Well, well maybe maybe in Africa or something, but yeah, I was just say go ahead. But and mostly say in that. Africa, they're crocodiles, a hippo, exactly a hippos. That's right. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I just saw a video the other day of like you know how at like those little parks or whatever they'll have like the. The trainer and the alligators like, hey, come sit on the alligator's back and ride it, right? Because mm -hmm. like once you go and sit on it, then it can't really get at you. And also, you can just reach down, hold its mouth shut, because all of, all of an alligator and crocodiles uh, muscles are all into closing, not opening their mouth. So you right. can, a, like a crab can pinch their mouth closed, right? Right. That's why you can hold it to get closed yeah. with duct tape. Exactly. Except apparently, the trainer was just like, ah, nah, he's nice and calm and didn't really have a grip on the alligator's uh, little snoot. And it was like three frames of it. It was like, boom. Immediately, he, he just swung his head back and snatched the guy's arm that was going to sit on him. Jeez. 
Wow. It was like, you're like not doing this. a blink of an eye between laying down flat and having his arm, in his the freaking guy behind him, arm in his mouth. Oh, yeah. They're no joke, man. And, and well, it makes sense if they're all muscle. They, oh, they are. That's what moves. Well, things. what you said, Zach, actually made me think of something. So Zach said there's no natural predators for alligators. You said that. Except men. Well, what he said, except hippos. I said hippos. You said hippos? Oh, Zach. Cheers to How hippos. dare you not give me credit? So, you gave credit to Zach for I implied, both things. I implied what, You said and what I said. So what I think we should do, I think the solution is to to reduce the wild alligator population in Florida would be to get some of those Colombian hippos and release them in Florida so that they can, they can keep down the alligator population. So that way, the alligators will be a will be a predator. Oh, I yeah. second this motion. I second this motion. It's like, and besides that, they're so darn cute. They, and they wiggle their widow ears. You know, they put they pop their widow heads up out of the water, and they wiggle their widow ears. They're so cute. Well, I know that the listeners they were asking a question about this alligator. Mm -hmm. like, well, what did they do with it? Did they make sure it was humanely? Oh yeah, put down. yeah, yeah. So, uh, good news, guys. The South Carolina Department of National Natural Resources, Resources. biologists, and an SCDNR contracted alligator removal service determined that the alligator should be humanely euthanized. So, oh yeah, there so you go. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Witnesses uh, said that the man was saying at the water's edge, and yada yada. Uh, you, all right, you guys who are not familiar with alligators and alligator attacks, uh, they say that he drowned. This is what alligators do to you. Alligators don't chomp you to death. Okay, what they do is they grab you, they pull you into the water, and they go into this thing. This is a National Geographic, just in case you haven't. Uh, and this thing called a death roll. And the alligator just keeps rolling they grab a hold of your leg or arm or whatever, and they pull you into the water. This is what they do to deer. You know, they say you to other animals or dogs or whatever. You know, you guys know that deer, or not deer, that um, alligators love to eat dogs, right? It's like caviar. It's like what? it's like alligator caviar. Uh, what are alligators designed to balance? Like, what is their natural food that they everything consume? A anything that they want to put in their mouths. Um, I know, but God put things on the earth for reasons. Well, I mean, right? they, so I guess they, you could say anything have anything that uses anything that uses watering holes because that's what they're like to do. Is yeah. that they're there well, to make sure they, the water I mean, holes don't be crowded? Eat, I guess they, they eat turtles, and um, you know that they're cannibals too. That they eat other alligators. If they get hungry enough, they'll kill another. They'll kill a smaller alligator and eat it. But uh, yeah, that that's how they kill you. Is they grab you, pull you into the water, and then they death roll you. Uh, they just roll and roll and roll and roll and roll until you stop kicking. And then once you stop kicking, they shove you up under a log or, or in their den or whatever and, and leave you there. Um, well, I, I know you guys are like, well, that's what Crocodile Dundee said. Yeah, well, that's what the alligators do. Uh, and that's that's why when you go to Florida or anywhere where there are alligators, they have big signs by the ponds and lakes that do say, not do not walk your dog. By the edge of the water, yeah. because the alligator will smell it, and he will bolt out of the water like lightning. The dog will be in and the mouth. snatch Fifi or Fufu or Fafa or whatever right off of the end of that leash, and it'll yank it into the pond, and you'll be standing there screaming. Uh, and I've seen people, I've seen idiots do that. I've seen tourists when we lived in Florida, tourist idiots walking their dogs down by the edge of the lake and pond, and I'm like, it's gonna be bad. It's going to be bad. And then I've also seen crazy, uh, like, redneck, Cajun-type people standing in waders up to their, you know, bellies and chests, or, you know, basically up to their bellies, fishing in alligator-infested waters. And they're like, no, it's the daytime. They won't mess you. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And this Those guy, Cajun people know how to do it, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy here, Mr. Bernstein, uh, it was daytime, right? It was daytime, and he's walking by the edge of the water, and bam, this gator got him, and it killed him. But 
thank the Lord that they're going to humanely euthanize it. Maybe he was dressed as a dog. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he had, maybe it's like, uh, maybe he had been petting a dog recently and you know, the dog smelled him. But so you're like, well, what are you telling me for, man? Why are you even bringing this up? Uh, if, if somebody would have been there, like with Mr. Burstein uh, and had a gun, you're like, what are you supposed to do? Shoot the alligator? Actually, yes. The answer is actually yes. If, if I'm walking by the side of the, the pond and an alligator grabs me and is dragging me into the thing, I and you're armed and you're near, I want you to shoot the alligator. Just, well, how many times do you have to shoot it? As many as it takes. Just give it something now, else to think about. I, I have a question for you as you are very familiar with calibers and stuff. About what would it take to pierce the skull of an alligator? A twenty-two. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They kill. Tw- they they shoot. They shoot them between the eyes with twenty twos. The 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 swamp people. That's how they. That's how they kill them. They they put the muzzle. They point the muzzle right between their eyeballs with a twenty, and they shoot them with a twenty-two yep. through the into their little tiny brains. But I, you know, my thing is just you just just keep shooting it until it uh, it doesn't want to do that anymore uh, whether that's 1 2 5 7 17 times i don't know 